Hey everyone, Darren here. So I just came back from my cinematic viewing of The Goat Life. Now normally I do a like day one crowd reaction sort of video when I watch a movie for the first time. But for this movie, it didn't feel quite right to do that. And look, I'm no stranger to doing reviews. We, we do it all the time on this channel. We do a lot of reactions. We do a lot of post-movie discussions. Uh, but this one is going to feel a bit different. So what is this movie about? It follows the story of Nazib, who is played by Prafi Viraj. And I'm going to talk about him a lot in this video. So Nazib leaves his pregnant wife and travels to Saudi Arabia in hopes of earning money to send him back home. He is taken by someone who he assumed was part of the new job, only to be forced into what's basically slavery. Um, I saw this trailer, it caught my attention, and I was still a bit on the fence about whether or not I was going to watch it. What pushed me over the edge was a clip of the real Najib who watched the film and he, he was crying, he was just teary-eyed. After that, I just had to find out, I had to know. Now this movie, everyone, it is filled with a lot of suffering, a lot of human heightened emotions. And at times, I'll be honest, it was almost like, it was almost too painful to watch, if that makes sense. I think anyone who knows anything about this movie will quickly realize what they are watching in front of them is 16, it's 16 years of hard work and is an unfolding in front of them on the big screen. Uh, to make it easier for my Western audience, what is this movie kind of like? It's kind of like Castaway. I guess you can compare it to that or, or Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, but it is, it is different. It is very different. There's also a lot of people saying that this movie is, is Oscar worthy. It is definitely an amazing film. It is a win for the Malayalam film industry, which has had a series of amazing movies just back to back recently. Like I find their, I find their movies are more artistic in their approach and they're very consistent in the direction, the acting, the camera work. Um, everything, music, everything. So when people online say that this is a movie that should deserve an Oscar, I would say yes, it can definitely hold its own on the international stage. But does it deserve an Oscar? Well, let's find out. So the first half of the movie was, truth be told, slow. It is a deliberately slowly paced movie and I actually worried for a bit because I was starting to wonder, is this what the movie is going to be? Am I just going to watch a lot of torture? Am I going to see just a lot of pain? Uh, you know, and you know, there's there's definitely art in that, but that's not all I want to see. But luckily, and I can say this confidently, the second half of the movie, that emotional arc was spectacular and there was a lot of payoff. So if you're watching the movie and you're going, oh, I might not be able to get through all of this, hold on to that second half. Cinematography has to be praised. Exceptional, extraordinary work from the camera team. Like there are so many times where there's something on screen and I'm thinking this is a wallpaper. I need to screenshot this and put this up somewhere. Visually, it is a treat. I found myself wondering a lot of times, like how did they capture that moment? How hard would it have been to film in an area like this in the desert? If there was an award for like hardest working category, I think this movie really <laughs> would win that for sure. Recognize at least for the hard work and effort put in. Something that's really amazing in this movie are those transition scenes. And you even see that in the trailers, the way they just go between the beauty, the beautiful memories he has, that colorful, vibrant memory of home and his loved one. And then it transitions to the desert, the riverbanks. It, it becomes painfully clear from a visual point of view of just where he's at in his life. When it goes to the desert, it's just brown, just dreary, brown, dark. And then when he thinks about his past, it's just saturated in colors, these vibrant greens and blues. Seriously, the cinematography was just really good in many places. I mean, not always. Um, uh, the CG was generally good, but there were times where I thought, okay, that's not as good. But that might be due to this budget. And also the fact that, you know, if it's been filmed over 16 years, there's probably gonna be those sort of discrepancies um, but because of all the time spent on this movie. Prafi Viraj, the actor, the performance of a lifetime really from this movie, he's amazing. You, 
you don't even know if it's the actor. I've seen him in Salah, he was amazing that. He's going to be the villain in Bade Miyan Chote Miyan, which is coming out soon. But I didn't even recognize him in this movie, and I think everyone's gonna say the same thing. Like, what a versatile actor this man is. He definitely, he, he definitely should be awarded for something for this performance. It is so dedicated. The, the physical transformation that he goes through throughout this movie is, is astounding. Like, that is true dedication to your craft. What an actor the man is. Like, I wouldn't even say he's acting at that point. He was living the character. Like, again, this movie is 16 years in the making. That's definitely gonna, that's gotta have an effect on you from a personal standpoint, just being in character like that. Not many actors, uh, not just in Indian cinema, but in, on the, in the world can do what he did in this movie, which was deliver a performance that showed the anguish, the turmoil, the, the, the vulnerability through his eyes without dialogue. He doesn't speak for a lot of this time because in real life, the main character didn't speak. He was just with the goats. Also, I have to say the actors that played Akim and Ibrahim, um, they, they did very well in playing their parts. Music, haunting, their haunting melodies. A.R. Rahman delivered a very melancholic music, um, matched really well with the emotional parts. If I had to be critical, there were some times where I think the background music could have been softened up a little bit because I was very aware that I was playing, but overall, incredible. Uh, another technical thing, the makeup department, the costumes, they did an amazing job in transforming him, like ignoring the physical transformation that uh, he went through. He was almost unrecognizable. If you see him in the beginning of the movie and then him at the end, this like, just blows your mind that's the same person. This movie really goes into that human spirit, the, the concept of endurance, like, humans we humans can go through a lot if we are forced to um and but this movie is going to put you through a lot it's hard to recommend it's hard to say that's for everyone because i don't i don't think it is it's, it's, it's probably not for those who are not up to this sort of movie it is not for the faint-hearted if you are going in wanting a feel-good movie uh you are probably not going to get what you want out of this now Najib, the main character's story, Najib, his journey spiraled mostly out of his control. And when you think it can't get any worse, it does. And there's a lot of that dread, that sense of helplessness, it permeates throughout this movie. Truth be told, I had high expectations coming into this movie based on all the comments, uh, based on all the hype that was going in. It was very hard for me to temper my expectations. And it was a long movie. It was a long one. I understand this length is pretty normal by Indian cinema. You think I'd be used to it by now, uh, but it, the length of this movie really elongated that sense of dread. And there were times, especially in the first half, where I did find myself kind of wishing I was more emotionally engaged with it. And after watching the movie, I, I did see some reviews saying that there, there, there were some people or there were people who couldn't really emotionally engage with this. Yeah, there's a cultural side to it, definitely. Um, Maybe I could connect with it more because I came from an immigrant family. And like many immigrant stories, you know, my parents were also taken advantage of when they first moved here. Uh, they didn't know anything and, and you know, they're still working really hard. Maybe in, like in Western movies where you have all this suffering, at the end of it, you're given some reward. There's some resolution. There's some big like revenge against your captors. But in this movie, there isn't. And it's and that's just part of life. <laughs> it happens. You know, life doesn't always give you that. The main criticism I saw about this movie mainly came from those who read the books because they were disappointed in the fact that there was scenes or moments cut out from the movie. It's very hard to adapt a a, a good book. Like there are very few examples in the world where the movie outshines the book. In the movie, there was a moment where he says goodbye to the goats. And like it didn't show the emotional connection that I f felt like it was trying to. And that might have been because they cut out parts from the book. I really felt like it was supposed to be a heartbreaking moment in that scene when he was saying goodbye. And just for some reason, it didn't trigger that reaction in me. Uh, I feel like I was supposed to feel that, but I didn't. Um, or maybe I'm, I'm just like that. <laughs> but despite this, I, the film is still amazing. It's still a really solid watch. Again, this performance, music, cinematography, great theatrical experience. So if you've watched the movie, I wanted to ask, what happened when the movie ended? When the lights came on? 
did people just walk out? Or was it were people talking about it? Because in my cinema, it was like just silent. Like I was almost trying to pull myself out of what I had just witnessed. It's like this feeling in your in your chest um, that we just saw this trauma. This is definitely the type of movie that will linger for a while. So that question of, is this Oscar worthy? <sighs> Something's missing. I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't know if you guys can understand this or not, but something felt like it was missing from the movie. I really want this movie to be an amazing hit. I want this to be talked about and discussed about because of the amount of effort Blessy and Prithviraj have put into it. They've dedicated 16 years of their, their lives to this, which is unbelievable. Very, very rare that this happens. But something's missing. And maybe it was the goat connection. Maybe that was it. You guys might not care because if you've known me for a while, you know, I love those brain dead action movies. I am a huge fan of them. Um, but look, when a movie like this comes out, I, I have to treat it with the respect and critique it deserves. And you know, I always want to be honest and hopefully you guys can appreciate that. But yeah, something's missing. And I, and I wish that if it had that thing, it would have just elevated this movie to, to even greater heights. I'm going to end this video by saying Prefira should get some sort of award for this film. It's a miracle that this movie even got made after 16 years, after being on hold due to the pandemic and everything. Look, I'm just a guy. I'm just some dude sitting in his room who loves Indian cinema and loves watching them with his best friend. But I'm so proud. I'm so, so proud of the Malayalam film industry. Like they are producing amazing work. They're really forging their own way through this. And I think everyone who watches this movie will be very impressed with what they're able to produce. And so that's my review of this movie. Those are my thoughts. Um, I'm very tired. It was a night viewing, it was a night seeing. I, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you took something out of it. Uh, please discuss down in the comments below what you thought this movie, if you had any criticisms at all, if you disagree with me, please share down below. As always, I love discussing this kind of stuff with you. Please let me know if I missed anything, uh, if I misinterpreted anything, and if you have any recommendations for me. And the usual stuff, you know, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're about to reach 4,000 subs on this channel, which is amazing. There's 4,000 people watching us, crazy. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Darren out.